Hello everyone, welcome to DevK Learner, a bit forward daily. So we are just moving forward with the beginner's guide to mQuery. Simple, start with basic. I'll take you through the agenda. What we have covered till now in the previous six videos is the topics one to nine. Today we are going to talk about day seven, which create your, which helps you create your first DAX measure in Power BI. So I'll just take you to that slide by clicking on it. But to tell you that today is a special one because we'll be writing our very first DAX measure, an essential step in transforming raw data into real insight. So the first thing that we have to understand is what is DAX? DAX stands for Data Expression. Uh, data analysis expression, a powerful formula language that is used in Power BI to create custom calculation. So this DAX can be used to calculate total, average, ratios, ranking, running totals, much more than that as well. In Power BI, we have two main ways to use DAX. One is measure. The other is calculated columns. When you're talking about measures, measures are used for aggregation, like total sales or average profit, and they are calculated based on filters context. Calculated columns are row level calculation that are physically added to your data model. So in the calculated column as been defined, what happens is if you create any calculated column, it will have an entry in all the rows in your table. But measures, measures are special. They are calculated at the runtime. So what we are going to do is we are going to follow these steps and create measures like total orders and average sales, right? Um, I'll show you about the difference between the calculated columns and measures as well. Might not be in this video, might be in the next video, but just to give you, uh, we will start up with just filling up the space there. So I'm just opening up the report, Power BI report, which we had worked yesterday. So if you have not seen my previous videos, it is better to uh, look for the video for day five, four, five and six, so that you can reach here or you can go to the, uh, just step six and check out there uh, how to get to this stage as well. So once we have done that, let's start by building our first measure now. So I for this I should be in the report view in the home. You will see there is a thing called new measure. So I will just click on new measure and I will create the new measure. So what my new measure would be doing is, it will be counting the total row for orders. So once you're doing this, right, once you're creating the measure, I did something wrong. I created that measure in the customer. Do I really require it? No, I don't require it. So what I can do is, I can just click out and the measure goes away because I've not made any changes. I want the measure in the order. So there are two ways to do it. One is to highlight this and then click on new measure. Or what you can do is you can do a right click on the orders and you can create a new measure from here. I'll, I'll just do it like this because I prefer not doing a lot of calc things there. I want to do it in smaller steps. I'll do a right click here and I will paste what I have already uh, have with me that is total order is equal to count rows order right so i'll just click on this check and it will evaluate the value for me and check whether everything is fine if everything is fine it will not give you any error and you will be able to see the measure here just remember that measure has a symbol like calculator in front of it let's calculate another measure or let's create another measure 
and what will this measure do is this will calculate the total sales for us i'll again go back to the order click on new measure and i already have the formula i'll just paste it here now how can we do that right so it is saying sum so total sales is equal to sum of orders and in the orders we should have the sales amount do we have the sales amount no right we have the total orders so what is the total order I, i'll just move it to the table and check what is the total order i can see that the total order is the count of rows of the order but the total sales which i'm looking forward for is not in this particular table it's in the order details table so there are two ways i can use the relationship to get this value which is too complex at the moment i will just remove this and what i'm going to do is i will just x out of it and then click somewhere outside it is still showing me the total measure total sales i'll try to remove this or better what i'll do is i'll do a right click and i'll click on delete from order so that will remove the total sales now that's in order detail so we have the total amount there so what i'll do is i'll do a right click a new measure and this new measure would be the measure that i want to create but this is not in the orders table so let me just write it down directly i'll write down order detail total amount so that will give me the total sales i will just click on check and it has a measure here i'll give you one more tip if i want to create a the same met name measure in two different in two different uh, data sets as well i will not be able to create it let's just try doing it i do a right click and i say new measure and i give it a name as the total sales and i'll just write down total sales is equal to 1 just to make it fine i'll just click on click so it says the name total sales is already used for the measure or the table in this choose a different name so you cannot have the measure with the same name in the same power bi report might be in in different data sets so i'll just close it i'll just remove this i don't require this measure then let's just create another uh, measure with the name of average sales right so i'll do a right click uh, on the order details as well and then click on new measure and i will paste the new measure formula here i just need to change it because it's not the order but it is order details and i need to change this thing as well i could easily do it like this order details and in the order details i require the total amount and i check it so i have the three measures that i've created and then what i can do is there is a chart uh, sorry a card control here i can paste it like this or what i can do is i can directly drag and drop it here and it will automatically create some chart for me 
once it has created the any visual i can click on this and i can change it to card control so that is giving me the total number of orders are 122 the total sales okay so it is giving me an error that my total sales let's go to the edit query that's an interesting thing so it is giving me that my total sales total amount is num uh, alphanumeric so i'll try to change it to whole numbers and then click on apply close and apply and let's see if that changes anything for me yeah so it is also showing me a chart now i'll just change it to the card control so it is showing me 1 million if i don't want to see show it like this i want to show the complete value what i can do is i can go to the format for this visual it is showing a call out value in the call out value it says display unit as auto i'll say none so you can see the complete value i can increase the size and then what we have is the value of decimal number i can i can do that as well but what i really want to do is i want to have the commas there right so i will select the total sales and you see here in the formatting there is a comma i'll just add a comma and you will see that it has already formatted it with the commas there similarly i'll take out the average and put it there I can do it in a different way because now at the moment when I'm dragging and dropping it, it is giving me a default value as a bar chart. But I'll, I'll just click on the empty space, click another card there, drag it here. And then what I do is I drag the average sales on the card. So it shows me the average sales there. But at the moment, what I see is everything is not coming right, right? So what I want is I want this to be showing in some format that it it appears as being in trust or might be uh, highlighted so what i can do is i because the, uh, these are card controls i can select all of them by pressing the control key once i've done that i can go to format in the format uh, your visual i can go to general I go to effect and just select shadow for all of them. So you will see that it has emerged up there. So this is how you can create the total orders, total sales, and average sales. It's very simple, right? It's an incredible too. We have not done much, but we have been able to achieve a lot of things. So what we have done is we have visualized the three cards as well. We have applied some formatting as well. So that is that is all that I wanted to show. You have written your first real DAX measures and made them visible on your reports. So I'll just give you some tips to remember. So some tip to remember is that use meaningful name for your measures. Always do that. Measure calculates in real time based on user printers. So it is always measuring at the real time. It doesn't save anything in the background. So um, that is the second part. The third part is use cards for KPIs and table chart for comparison. So you need to use it in uh, the cards, right? Where we are talking about the cards, we showed the three cards there. You should be using that for KPIs and table and charts for comparison that's all that i wanted to show you in day eight right we will turn uh, this report into a beautifully designed dashboard so we'll be using tables kpi charts uh, kpi cards and charts to be working on that um, we will also uh, bring your data to life visually 
and learn basic layout and report design best practices. But that we'll do tomorrow. For today, don't forget that our live Q&A session uh, is held on every Sunday, 12.30 p.m. IST. And our Power BI webinar on data modeling also is done on 5th would be done on 15th June 10 a.m. IST. So you can register them with the links given in description. Once again, I thank you for watching. If you find this useful, please like, comment, and subscribe. And um, if you like what we are doing in DevK Learner, please uh, share this to your friends. With that, I say thank you. See you in day eight where your data becomes visual and impactful. Thank you.